As quickly as fire spread, that's how fast technology has to adapt to the ever-changing landscape of fire and rescue operations. Here now is your sneak peek at some of the innovative new technologies coming to market. Sometimes people think of the fire service of uh, put the wet stuff on the red stuff. Stuff has changed. Uh, and now, whether you're looking at the fact that lightweight construction materials are a thing, that we're burning buildings burn faster and hotter. We're looking at lithium ion batteries now that are, have thermal runaway and we don't necessarily know exactly the best protocols. The external environment has changed, so we as a fire service have to change. And this is a lot of new technology that is just didn't exist maybe 10, 20, 50 years ago and now does. And we want to create an unfair advantage for first responders to do their job against the different challenges at, at hand. Come along, let's check it out. It's kind of a situational spot for first responders to be able to play into the commander. Obviously sometimes in the wildland it's a bit windy and rugged outside, so this being kind of a spot to allow you to play quarterback from here, this location. And you know, a little bit smaller footprint here with the, with the Ford Bronco, with being able to go anywhere that other vehicles can't. Up top we have the, uh, the Kaimeda satellite an antenna, and that's only kicking in when we don't have LTE connection. Then we ultimately have different antennas up top that are connecting down here to this Tejero blend, where this is ultimately taking three different LTE networks, AT&T, FirstNet, T-Mobile, blending them together to create the strongest network. And ultimately, when there's not LTE available, that's when the satellite connectivity will kick in. So you will actually take this component, first responder will wear it and walk away, and ultimately take this connectivity, we'll, we'll have the same connectivity that, that we have here in the Bronco, and then you can have a couple of these to ultimately extend the mesh, con mesh connectivity. And then behind this, we have the Stealth Power backup battery system, which is ultimately allowing you to have ongoing, sustainable, clean power, even when the Bronco is off, to be able to have an extended period of runtime to be able to um, operate the Bronco. And then also that's being, that's being charged, the alternator, when you're operating the Bronco. The ultimate goal of the TSI is to be two-way. We want this to not just be a person standing in front of a PowerPoint talking about tech, but we will be showcasing examples of technology and having rapid fire panels, having a startup pitch tank. We're going to be having lightning talks. So a lot of really cool, exciting opportunities and you will be part of it. It's gonna be one of the best technology events today.